Welcome to the Sermon Prep tutorial series. In this set of videos, we're going to look at how Logos tools and features can help you research and write. While each pastor or teacher may well have a different approach, Logos can support them in what they are doing, as we will see. Writing a sermon involves several steps, including research, writing, and planning presentation materials. It involves basic research, and we will look at how the Factbook tool and the Sermon Starter Guide support this. We need somewhere to ask questions to make notes to store research to structure information. We will look at how notes, clippings and favourites provide an integrated capability for doing this. Being able to find information and visually identify key elements is important. And we will look at how search and visual filters provide powerful mechanisms to do this. Sometimes we want to focus on the meaning of particular words, while at other times we want a much wider view. The Information and Explorer tools, along with the Logos Passage and Bible Word Study Guides, support these dimensions of study. And with these features in mind, we will look at how the Sermon Builder tool in Logos can help with the actual production of the sermon with associated presentation materials. We will also look at how Logos can help you keep your sermons organised, as well as aiding in the actual delivery of the sermon. This tutorial series will use Luke 4, 16-30 as an example text, but the techniques and features are applicable for sermons based on either the OT or NT or for topical sermons. If you follow these steps in your own Logos system, your results may look somewhat different depending on what Logos package you own. First, from the home page, open your preferred Bible to Luke 4, 16-30 by entering the passage in the command box, which you access by clicking the Logos icon and dragging it to the left side of the screen. You can drag tools or resources to where you want them on the screen. Then we'll look at the Sermon Starter Guide, specifically designed to kickstart the manuscript preparation process. This guide provides you with starting points and background ideas for sermons or lessons based on a particular passage or a topic. Run a guide for Luke 4 16 to 30 by selecting Sermon Starter Guide from the Guides menu, typing that passage in the search box and pressing enter. This provides a great starting point for writing a sermon manuscript. It shows what was tied up in the promise of a Messiah arriving and some of the expectations on him. Note, for example, there were many expectations on such a Messiah, bringing leadership, operating as priest and judge, acting as a prophet. These were powerful claims by Jesus. It helps you search subsets of your resources that are relevant to this passage. These subsets could be collections you have created, tags you have associated with resources, or series created by Logos software. It identifies any relevant media. It pulls together commentaries from your Logos library that address this passage. You can group these commentaries in different ways. So you can focus on modern commentaries, or ones that have an exegetical focus. Click a commentary to open it to the relevant section. The guide gives easy access to different outlines of the passage and more. You can create a sermon document based on one of the outlines as a starting point for writing a sermon manuscript. To do this, click the copy button to the right of the outline. Enter topic information in topics in the sermon info area and passage information in the passages area. This makes this sermon appear in other Logos tools looking at that passage or topic. We'll come back to sermon documents in later videos, but this gives an idea of the sort of thing that is possible. You could use this as a starting point and then modify based on your own research and what you believe God is prompting you to say to your congregation. If, instead of working on a passage, you're working on a theme, the Sermon Starter Guide helps you with that as well. 
we look at the theme of fulfilment of prophecy as a way of exploring how Jesus fulfilled so many Old Testament prophecies, such as the verses from Isaiah in this passage. This gives a wider context into the fulfilment of prophecy and some of the key passages that speak about it. To focus on just one section of a guide, such as preaching resources, select it from the guides menu. Enter fulfilment to see what relevant preaching resources you have in your library. Overall, this is a great way to start exploring a passage or a topic in preparation for a sermon or lesson. So the Sermon Starter Guide provides a powerful way to explore passages or topics and to start the process of researching information and producing a manuscript. Other tools we will look at in the next few videos will outline a range of further techniques to underpin this process and to give us confidence that we are exploring words, passages or themes accurately and appropriately.